All right. Well, if you're here watching this video, you probably have an EasyGo RXV similar to this that has had a brake problem and has burned up one, if not more, brakes, as mine has. Over the course of two years, it has had two brakes fail. I've just finished installing the new brake right there on the motor. It's nice and shiny, as you can see. So, it appears to have completely fixed my problem. The cart would uh, go for a little while and then it would start stinking real bad because the brake was overheating and it would stop because the brake was grabbing and locking up. So, in all my research, I couldn't find anything satisfactory as far as why this would be happening. I had one clue from a video that led me, believe it or not, to the cup holder. And the cup holder underneath. Oh, looky there. What is that? And why is it there? So, that's what's called a run plug. And it is simply a jumper. It unplugs just like that. This is a Molex plug. I believe it's made by AMP. And I've seen these on a lot of equipment that I work with. And the last place I would put one of these is in a moist environment, an outdoor environment, because they are notorious for developing bad connections on the pins inside there. And you may be asking, well, what does this crazy thing do? Plugged in underneath here. And believe it or not, both sides of the power go into the brake. Both the power and the ground for the brake are passing through this plug. And anytime the brake loses power, anytime the power is removed, like now that I've pulled this plug out of here, the brake cannot release. It is activated when there's no power. So, theory I have is that if this plug is failing, then it is allowing the power to get lost to the brake while you're trying to drive. And that would cause the brake to overheat and fail prematurely. So, I'm going to set up my camera and let you watch as I bypass this permanently. The way you access this is to take out the screws underneath that hold the cup holder in place. And here's the top side of the plug. I'll be back in a second and we'll get to fixing this permanently.